Hey guys, it's Fly High FPV with a quick tutorial on LEDs. Uh, I've got these LEDs set up on two different quads, two different setups, and just want to talk a little bit about them, how to set them up, uh, what to do when you get your LEDs, and uh, just break it all down. Uh, this is the traditional way to run the LEDs. They're four millimeters wide, so that pretty much perfectly fits right around the edge line of most quads. Uh, you can see I've added some zip ties just kind of help secure it in place. Uh, this is amazing, especially if you're flying like a cinematic rig or uh, something that you're not crashing all the time. It's beautiful, but as you know, we're crashing right into the fronts of the arms. The motors here and here are going to hit, and if I chop these, then they'll stop working. Um, I, I'm a durability guy, so i got to just call it out right from the get-go. If you want to be more durable, then I recommend segmenting your LEDs. Uh, this way I've got them chopped up into um, 10 centimeter lengths. You can chop them up into 5 centimeters. Uh, I like the big long stretches on the bottom of the quad. Uh, and then you can wire them back together either in series or in parallel. Uh, it works either way. I've got 6S version. These guys run straight off of 6S main battery voltage. And I've also got a 3 to 4S version that'll run anywhere from 12 to 17 volts. Whether you got a 12 volt regulator, a 3S or a 4S battery, and you want to run straight to it. Um, so the trick is, if you want to segment them, let me see if I can focus. Focus. Is there are these uh, LED pads underneath, and every five centimeters there is a little black line come on focus baby a little black line the first one is right there and then the next one is right there and the next one is right there so every five centimeters you can cut this thing and what you'll do is you'll expose another pad. When you expose that pad, you just basically split it right in half with your snippers. And you can, again, solder more of these up in series or parallel. Uh, something else to note, when you peel the back off, there are two backings going on here. You've got this paper backing that you're going to remove. And then underneath it is the 3M clear sticky adhesive backing. And that's what's going to help stick it to your frame. Uh, again, I do recommend zip ties to just reinforce the ends of the the, cable, the LED strip so that it doesn't come loose. Uh, but the 3M backing does a great job of sticking it down. Um, also, if you want, you can get real pit. Uh, I've got little real pit switches from Tiny LEDs, and they will allow you to set up a, um, a switch on your transmitter to uh, turn the lights on and off via a UART. Uh, so you can get uh, your LEDs controlled that way. Uh, me, I'm I'm always green all the time. Uh, this is perfect for me. I just always want the LEDs on. Help me find my quad. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go drift in. It's going to help the guys that are driving know who to come to see when they want to get the footage. Um, but yeah, let me know if you need these. These are available at flyhighfpv.com. I got a whole bunch of colors. Uh, you get one meter when you get them, and uh, I recommend if you're going to do the full wrap, you install them just like this, which is to uh, come up and start at a motor and wrap around to the back and then finish up at the other end of the front. You don't want to put them right inside your camera cage, uh, or the first one that I did back here, and they uh, were for just fine during the daytime, but at night it was so bright green it made it really hard to see. So uh, do try to avoid the cam cage a little bit. If you're uh, gonna do the full wrap, uh, no issues whatsoever with this scenario. And I had them before, where I was running little five mil strips up on the top as well. But prop strikes were getting them, and uh, these have been stable down on the bottom with no issues. Just uh, be really careful when you do the joints. This stuff is a uh, film, so you just want to be quick with the iron. Don't leave the iron on there for more than a second or so. Uh, and just, you know, solder up tin here so you get your pads tinned, tin your wires so they're tinned. You can use just about any gauge wire. They pull uh, no, hardly any amps at all. It's 0.2 amps that the, the 24 volt sile uses and uh, the 
12 at 12 volt they pull the same about 0.2 and if you go up to uh, 4s then they pull about 0.35 amps for a whole meter which is still nothing uh, but yeah any size wire do I usually use leftover motor wire just because I prefer the durability I don't want them to get torn easily and then be slinging uh, voltage around but these are them uh, if you want them get a meter at a time when you order uh, fly high FPV you know I love the green ones but uh, I got all the colors hit me up appreciate you bye